You, sir, look lively. We are, in fact, going to take the engine out of the Daytona Prototype Unicorn. Actually, I'm pointing at Sean. That's kind of awkward. But here it is. The car is all stripped down and looking good. It's got a Sean. Keep looking awkward. It's got a diamond built BMW V10 in the back. It's all torn apart. Carbon fiber bodywork and this cool two frame chassis. But the engine that's in it is blown. Most likely head gaskets and stuff let loose. And the drivetrain in this thing is massive. So we've got the crane hooked up. We got a dolly out of the back. And we claim to think we know what we're doing. Mostly we just guessed the whole way that was intelligent. Sean decided this would never fly in his line of work. There would be somebody <laughs> with a pen and a desk that would go, that's not how it's supposed to work. That metal is bending. Yeah, I disagree. You'd have to do five months of analysis. We did like five days of analysis. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be fine, hopefully. We sort of looked at it. The dog approves. This, this, this dog's name, Maserati. Look, this is Maserati. Oh, you're being nice on camera. Do you know I drive a Lamborghini and it's cooler than a Maserati? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nope. You, sir, look lively. <laughs> yeah, I could help, but I have to be the camera person, which makes means it's going to be way more dramatic. You guys are nervous now, aren't you? Sean the Sheep, you can be the safety person and tell them when things look like they're going badly. Yeah. Andres will be the muscle. What's Brandon going to do? So you're going to keep expensive and dangerous things from happening. You're going to keep things from getting broken. I'm gonna go ape crazy. Whoa, ape crazy. You can say ape shit. I can yeah. bleep it. Oh, yeah, I just don't swear much. You, you don't swear much? No, only when it's appropriate. We're in a shop. I don't feel like swearing. Fair enough. <laughs> Things are going too well. Okay, have at it, men. I'm not being careful how much I put my hands in there. 
we'll use this in the back more. You see what I'm saying? Let's get the engine down where it's a little safer first. Does that make sense? Others? Make sense? Draw that out. Be safer. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to hold that like a boss and you're going to pull it out. How about that? Um, can you pull that 2x4 out? I don't understand why that's there. Pull it. Okay, where do we want to put some more stuff under here? Went on these uh, rear mud or transmission mounts. A two by four right here would work well. Right. I see what you mean about the transmission mount, but it's not really high enough. Alright. I tell you what, if you get that plywood that's together with a two by four, it will be high enough. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this. Put that down. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it different. I don't want that thing, I don't want to be tripping over it all the time. Okay. So you're gonna put that underneath both mounts. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, I'll look. Ready? Farther, look at it. This is not lightweight. Push it center, slightly forward. Fucking look at it. Hey, dude, this is not easy. Thank you. Okay. Ta da! Okay, guys, that was it. We got the engine and drivetrain out of the Daytona prototype. Hope you enjoyed seeing that. Uh, pretty cool, really. It's huge. It barely fits in there, and it is one of the physically largest drivetrains I've about ever seen in anything, which frankly is kind of cool. Um, just goes to it being a crazy unicorn built with race stuff. And a cute doggy named Demago Rodney. What you doing, guy? What you doing? So anyway, that's really it. Let's check out the uh, chassis. It's pretty dirty. Do 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 do. So it's pretty scuzzy, obviously it ran like this a lot. It's hard to access that, so the previous owner, um, it's really hard to clean that up and whatnot, but it's a good car. Everything's in place and we'll come back more when we're uh, going over all the systems and assessing it, but basically getting it ready with the new motor over in the crate next time. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everybody. Even Brandon, the new guy. We could call him FNG. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you guys subscribe. This is Genius Garage and one of the Genius Garage projects, the Riley Mark 22 with the Dynan V10. See you guys next time.